Last night on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? You came back tonight with a thousand pounds. Don't do this. <laughs> You've now got two thousand. Yeah! Final answer. <laughs> you got four thousand pounds. Come on. Can I find a friend? Can't find a friend. Of course you can. See Tonto. Are you sure? Yeah. Definite. Yeah. Honest. Yeah. <laughs> see you later. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, see, Tonto. You just won 16... <laughs> I know it, I know I know it. Come on. Come on. You have just won! <laughs> you look very confident. That's good, you're right, you've got a thousand pounds. It's okay, it's good, you've got two thousand pounds. Welcome to an extra special hour long, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? But first of all, in the papers this morning, a message from us to Rod Stewart, who over the years has given away millions and millions to blondes and barristers, and now it looks like he may have to shell out a lot more in the months ahead. Rod, you know the number to call, 0891 444444. <laughs> you can be here in less than 48 hours' time. Just like quantity surveyor Martin Skilling's here. Now, yesterday, Martin from Norfolk ended the show in good shape. He had £2,000. He had all three lifelines intact. Now, for all sorts of reasons, 1998 was a really rough year for Martin and his family, and we would love him to leave the studio tonight with a much, much bigger, fatter cheque. He did say to us yesterday he'd like to spend some of the money on a trip to the Andes with his wife, Miranda, who's... Um, up there in the audience having kittens again. Um, <laughs> Martin, you did also say, and I thought this was rather generous, you said, if you won a million pounds, and I hope you do, it's it, uh, you're just nine questions away, you said you'd like to take me. Anywhere. <laughs> Anywhere. <laughs> Anywhere. I'd just be so pleased. Do name it. Anywhere. OK, let's go to the... Let's all three go to the Andes. Right, lovely. OK. Done. <laughs> well, now, you know how it all works. Martin, at this point, has come back overnight. He's just nine questions away from one million pounds. He still has all three lifelines uh, intact. He's got 50-50, where we take away two wrong answers. He can still phone a friend, and, of course, Martin can ask the audience and use their vast intelligence, which is usually infallible. And now, remember, I may know the answer, I may not, but I won't see the correct answer on my side of the screen here until Martin has given me his final choice on each question. OK, Martin, are you ready for this? Barely. <laughs> Barely. OK, you've got £2,000. Have a look at it. For £4,000, you've got three lifelines. Let's play. What name links three presenters of TV's points of view? Took. Ford. Smith. Or Robinson? I play D. Robinson. Yes. You look off the mark tonight? Yeah. You confident? Not at all. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> You play it? £4,000? Yeah, definitely Robinson. OK, your final answer, you say to me, D. Robinson. It's a good start, you've got £4,000. <laughs> they were uh, Robert Robinson, Kenneth Robinson, and now Anne Robinson. Right, you've got £4,000, you've got three lifelines left. If you go to the next one and double your money, you go up to £8,000. Have a look at it, tell me what you want to do. Here it comes. What's the capital of the Falkland Islands? Port Elizabeth, Port Moresby, Port Stanley, or Port Side? I play C, Port Stanley. Final answer? Yes, please. You had £4,000 when you came in. You've now got £8,000. <laughs> I have to tell you, this guy has been so nervous all day. He's worse today, knowing he's got a thousand pounds than he was yesterday. True. You've still got three lifelines, and you've got eight thousand pounds at this moment. You can obviously take it and go. If you go for it and get it wrong, you drop seven thousand pounds. You go back to a thousand. 
but the next question is worth £16,000. You have got three lifelines left. Have a look at this question. It's worth £16,000 if you play it. In which of these countries do motorists drive on the left? France. Spain. USA. Ireland. You've got £8,000. I play D, Ireland. You sure? Yes. Don't change me. I'll play D, Ireland, please. Okay, that's your final answer. Yeah. You've now got £16,000. <laughs> The next one's the next big milestone. If you get to the next question and get it right, if you play it and go for it and get it correct, you get to £32,000. If you get to that point, no matter what happens tonight, we will not take that away from you. You leave here with at least a cheque here for £32,000. Of which story is Richard Hannay the hero? The 39 Steps. The Third Man. 1984. Or of mice and men. I play a, a 39 steps, please. That's your final answer? Yes. If it's wrong, you've dropped £15,000. You haven't, you've got 32 grand. <laughs> You knew it. I could see it on your face. And they all saw it on your face as well. I don't 30, it. Martin, you've got £32,000. I have to say to you, over two series, nobody's ever been in this position before. You've got £32,000. Whatever happens, I'll write you out a cheque now for £32,000. You will leave here tonight with at least thirty-two grand. But nobody has ever got to this situation with this amount of money with three lifelines left. £32,000. But we don't want to give you that. <laughs> We'd like to give you a cheque for at least £64,000. Take your time, you've got three lifelines. What form of transport was the R101? What form of transport was the R101? A train. An airship. A jet aircraft. A submarine. You've got three lifelines. I'll play and I'll go B, airship. Final answer. Final answer. I had a cheque for £32,000. I can now give you a cheque for £64,000. This is not good for an old man, you know. Six, are you talking about me or you? Me. You've got £64,000. <laughs> He spelt it right, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> but we don't want to give you that. I would love to give you a cheque for £125,000. Take your time, have a look at the next question. You've got three lifelines. You can take £64,000 if you want to. Tell me if you want to play it or use a lifeline. Have a look at it. Which of these animals is a different gender from the others? Vixen, Pen, Heart, Jill. I'll play C, Heart. You've got £64,000 at the moment? Yeah. You want to play? Yes. Yes. OK, your final answer is C, Heart. You've just won 100. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thank you, Chris. You have still got three <laughs> lifelines. I have to say, it would be quite a responsibility, this, to be asked the audience or phone a friend. <laughs> Now, Martin, please, please do not lose this money. You're the biggest winner we've had so far. You have got to £125,000. You can take that money now and go. 
I can write you out a cheque now. Don't... don't, don't, don't. <laughs> For one 100... hundred... I just want to see it, that's what I did. <laughs> please, please, don't leave here without it. You've got a cheque for £125,000. You can take that now. If you go for the next question and get it wrong, you drop £93,000. Oh. Oh. If you get it right, you go to a quarter of a million. These are very, very serious sums of money. Have a look at the next question. It is worth a quarter of a million pounds. Sir John Hicks was the first British winner of which Nobel Prize? Peace. Chemistry. Economics. Physics. I'd like to phone Tony. OK. Shall I tell Tony the amount of money involved? No. <laughs> He's an old boy like me. When I put you back on, you'll have 30 seconds to tell him the question and the four possible answers. Hello? Tony? Yes? Hi, it's Chris Tarrant who wants to be a millionaire. Yes? Uh, we've got Martin Skillings on the show tonight. Yes? He's doing quite well. Um, I'll tell you the question and four possible answers. Yes. OK, one of the answers is the correct one. We want to try and find it. Three of them are wrong. Yes. OK. What I have to say to you, Tony, the next voice you hear will be Martin. When you hear his voice, we'll start the clock. He'll only have 30 seconds... Yes. ..for you, hopefully, to give him the right answer. Yes. OK, Martin, your time starts now. Right, Tony. Sir John Hicks was the first British winner of which Nobel Prize? A. Peace. B. Chemistry. C. Economics. Or D physics. Do you know? Sir John Hicks. Yeah, was the first British winner of which Nobel Prize? A peace, B chemistry, C economics, D physics. Three seconds. Mm. No. Nope. I don't think he knew. He didn't know. That's, no, he'd have said if he knew. It's up to you. Good luck. You've got £125,000, you can take that now. I'd like to just do the 50-50 thing out of interest. Martin, for a nervous man, you're ever so slightly mad. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Computer, will you please take away two of the wrong answers? Leave Martin the correct answer and one other wrong answer, the one remaining wrong answer. That's why he didn't know. Can and ask the audience. I, and I'd like to you ask, can the, ask audience. the audience. Just to let the buttons, give the buttons a <laughs> What a test of this audience. <laughs> Only once in two series has the audience ever got a question wrong. <laughs> They're not normally quite at this level, though. In fact, nothing has ever been at this level. This is the question. It is worth a quarter of a million pounds. Sir John Hicks was the first British winner of which Nobel Prize? On your keypads, please, vote now. Well, I thank them very much, but I'm not going to risk it, but I, I hope they're right. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Martin Skillings, £125,000. Stay there, stay there, stay there. I can tell you the right answer, actually, the right answer would have been economics. I don't think it matters. £125,000. Martin Skillings on his way back to Norfolk. Come on, Miranda. £125,000. Amazing. I can tell you that is the biggest amount anyone has ever won on any game show on television anywhere in the world. Mr Martin Skillings from Norfolk, £125,000 better off on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And we'll do it all over again with ten new contestants in just a couple of minutes. Join us again after the break. Unbelievable first half of the show tonight. Welcome back.
Who Wants to Be a Millionaire has just made history before the break. We gave away the biggest cash prize ever won on any quiz show anywhere in the world. Martin Skillings, he's in the bar at the moment, uh, goes back eventually to Norfolk with what's left of £125,000. Now, if you answered Martin's questions correctly at home, you're a little liar! <laughs> if you really, really, really did, then give us a call. You know the number to call, 0891 444444. It's an hour-long show tonight. It feels like an hour already with Martin. More cash, more questions, more chances to win the next million pounds for tonight's ten brand-new contestants. Let's meet them. They are... Neil Duggan from Essex. <laughs> Ray Perkins from Glamorgan. <laughs> Graham Worsley from Surrey. <laughs> Gary Cunning from Glasgow. Dave Jones from Bristol. <laughs> Ian Horswell from Dorset. <laughs> Chris Vasper from Nottinghamshire. <laughs> Ronnie Richardson from Cleveland. <laughs> Terry McGovern from Edinburgh. <laughs> and Steve Wilcox from Hertfordshire. <laughs> Don't know what it's been like for them watching Martin. It must have been absolutely terrifying. But they're next. It's Fastest Finger First. Now, you'll all see a question. Four answers come up on your screen. Whoever puts the four choices in the correct order in the fastest time is the first of our brand new contestants tonight to play for £1 million. Audience, absolute quiet, please. I want them all to concentrate. It's fastest finger first again. Here comes the question. Starting with the shortest, put these four monarchs in order by length of reign. <laughs> Lady Jane Grey, Elizabeth I, Victoria, Richard III. All right, time's up there now. The correct order first was the shortest reign, Lady Jane Grey. She reigned for just nine days. Richard III is next. Just two years he was actually on the throne. Then Elizabeth I, 44 years. And the last one, of course, Queen Victoria, who actually reigned for 63 years. So that's the right answer. Let's see who got it right. But more important, who got it right in the fastest time? All these got it right. Who got it right fastest? Ian Horswell! <laughs> Right, here we go again. Let's try and do it all over again. Amazing night tonight. Ian Horswell from Gillingham in Dorset. He's a merchant seaman. He's married to Maureen. Uh, she's at home tonight. She's watching at home, going, hoo, uh, with the kids, David and Emily. Uh, if he wins the million, he'd like to go to New Zealand, he's just told me, when the England cricket team are playing, because at the moment, he thinks they'll probably let him play. I think they probably will, actually. <laughs> Ian... What was it like for you sitting there amongst the other nine new contestants? It must have been a nightmare. It was. It, we were all, I think we were all willing him to go oh, on yeah. all the way oh, yeah. to take the pressure off the rest of us. Well, a bit, but just thinking, I'm on next, I'm on yeah. next. Unbelievable. You are here, actually. Quite seriously, you're here at the moment when yeah. television history was made. We've been trying to give away this money for so long. Yeah. Right, 15 <clears throat> questions, £1 million. Martin got 12 questions right and went away with a record-breaking, unbelievable £125,000 tonight. Now, Ian starts again. He's got three new lifelines. He's got 50-50. He's got phone a friend. And ask the audience, who I have to say, if Martin Skillings had listened to tonight, would have won him £250,000. Now, as always, Ian, I don't see the correct answer on my side of the screen until you've given me your final choice. OK, we started at £100. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? What was the surname of the American president known as JFK? For 100 quid. Was it Carter? Was it Khrushchev? Was it Kinnock? Or was it Kennedy? I think it was probably Kennedy. I think you'll find it was J.F. Kennedy is the right answer. You've got 100 quid. <laughs> Have a look at the next question for £200. Who married Fionn Jenkins in December 1997? Gordon Brown, Robin Cook, John Prescott, or William Haig? Yeah, it's D again. It's D again, William Haig's right, you've got 200 quid. <laughs> OK, 
Here, £200. Uh, have a look at the next one for £300. You've still got three lifelines. Use them if you need them, but save them if you can. £200 you've got. This question's for £300. Here it comes. In which country were both James Joyce and George Bernard Shaw born? Scotland, England, Ireland or Wales? C, Ireland. C, Ireland. 300 quid's the right answer. Well done. <laughs> Both of them were born in Dublin. Right, you've got 300 quid. Uh, at any point up to 1,000, if you do get a wrong answer and you don't use a lifeline, you get a wrong answer, you do go home with nothing. It hasn't happened yet, I'm sure it won't. Have a look at this question for 500 pounds. Here it comes. Which of these is a citrus fruit? Banana, lemon, apple or grape? My old granny used to say, the answer's a lemon. So, I guess the answer <laughs> is a lemon. She was a bit of a puzzle to everybody around here, <laughs> your, your granny, wasn't she? And you said to me, B, lemon. Yes. It's the right answer. You've got 500 quid. <laughs> OK, nice and easy so far. As you've seen with uh, Martin, they do get harder, but... You're one question away from the next master of £1,000. Ian, if you get to that, and I'm sure you will, and I hope you do, you've got three lifelines, you leave here with at least £1,000 tonight. Have a look at this question. What first did Wilbur and Orville achieve in 1903? Radio transmission. Powered flight. Advertising film. Or inventing chewing gum. <clears throat> Orville and Wilbur, they were the first men to fly in a powered aircraft, B. You saying that in 1903? B, powered flight, yeah. You happy for a £1,000? Yeah. It's good, it's the right answer, you've got a £1,000. <laughs> Some serious money going away tonight. Right, Ian, whatever happens, you leave here tonight with £1,000 guaranteed. At this moment, you are ten questions away from £1 million. Have a look at the next question for £2,000. You've still got three lifelines, you might as well play it. Have a look at it for £2,000. Which city gave Nicolas Cage the Best Actor Oscar? Chicago, New York, Atlanta or Las Vegas? You've got £1,000, you've got three lifelines. D, Las Vegas. Confident? Yeah. Is your final answer? Yeah. It's good, it's the right answer. You've got £2,000. <laughs> the film was leaving Las Vegas. You've got £2,000, you've still got your lifelines intact. Right, Ian, have a look at the next question. If you go for it, get it right, it's worth £4,000. In which ocean are the Azores Islands situated? Pacific? Indian? Atlantic? Or Arctic? C. Atlantic. I thought you'd know this one. Been there. <laughs> Been there? Yeah, but what ocean Been was there, it in? done it. <laughs> You happy? I've got the same. £4,000, you happy? Atlantic. Okay, that's your final answer. Yeah. It's good, the Azores are in the Atlantic, it's worth £4,000. <laughs> it's a luck of draw, whatever comes out the computer, whatever comes out the computer is your question. It may or may not suit you. You've got £4,000, you've still got three lifelines. Have a look at the next question, Ian, for £8,000. Who was the Queen's first grandchild? David Lindley, Zara Phillips, Prince William, or Peter Phillips? Take your time. You've got £4,000. You can take £4,000 home. Can I take 50-50? You can. Computer, will you please take away two of the wrong answers? Leave Ian just the one correct answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Queen's first grandchild. Peter Phillips. Zara Phillips or Peter Phillips? Peter Phillips. Okay, that's your final answer. You've got £8,000.
Ian, you've got eight grand. <clears throat> you can take it now. You've still got two lifelines. Whatever happens, you leave here with £1,000. If you go for this question and get it wrong, you drop £7,000. If you get it right, you double your money to £16,000. You've got two lifelines. Have a look at the question. If you get it right, it's worth £16,000. The triathlon is made up of running, swimming, and which other event? Horse riding, shooting, cycling, or fencing? C. Cycling. Sure? Yep. Positive. OK, you're saying to me, for £16,000, your final answer is cycling? Yep. You've got £16,000. <laughs> I love it from my side over here where I see that. I saw it last night with Fiona and I love it when I think, yes, he knows it, yes. You've got £16,000. Now, listen, the next question is a serious milestone. If you get to that, you get to £32,000. Whatever happens tonight, we will not take that away from you. At the moment, if you get this wrong, you drop back £15,000 to £1,000. But if you get it right, you get £32,000. Guaranteed minimum winnings tonight. Have a look at the question. If you go for it and get it right, it's worth £32,000. What's the subject of the TV series Screaming Reels? Horror films, fishing, cookery, or dangerous sports? You've got two lifelines. I'd like to ask the audience. OK, audience, here's the question. What's the subject of the TV series Screaming Reels? A, B, C, or D? All on your computer keypads, please, audience. All vote now. Well, 11% think it's horror films. Um, <laughs> screaming reels, the horror film. 82% uh, say fishing. 1%, someone clearly, not entirely well, thinks it's... <laughs> screaming reels is a cookery programme. <laughs> Uh, and 6% are saying dangerous sports. It's your call, Ian. You can take 16, you don't have to take it. Well, they have actually confirmed what I believed it was, so I will say B, fishing. Well, sure you want to go with it? Yes. Please. It's the right answer. You've just got 32 <laughs> Well done, audience. £32,000. We've already given away £125,000 tonight. Now, Ian, whatever happens, you will take £32,000 back home to Gillingham in Dorset. Have a look at it. I'll write you out a cheque for £32,000. OK? Whatever happens tonight, you go away with that. But we don't want to give you that. <laughs> oh, no. We laugh in the face of £32,000. We would like to give you the next cheque, which would be £64,000. Your face. £64,000. These are huge sums of money tonight. Have a look at it. Which city is famous for its stampede each July? Take your time. Dallas. Calgary. Toronto. Or Vancouver, A, B, C, or D. You've got thirty-two thousand pounds. You've got one lifeline, but I think you know it. Calgary. You're saying to me B for Calgary. sixty-four thousand pounds. Yep. Calgary. Is your final answer. Yep. It's the right answer. You got sixty-four pounds. Well, nice. <laughs> At this moment, Ian. If you get the question wrong, you drop back £32,000. If you go for it and get it right, it's worth £125,000. Ian, have a look at it, but take your time. Sarah Brown and Sky Masterson are leading characters in which musical? South Pacific. Guys and Dolls. Sunset Boulevard. Or A Chorus Line. Can I phone Paul? Phone Paul? Who's Paul? Paul? Paul Moody. So Paul McCartney. OK. <laughs> he wouldn't have. <laughs> OK. You can play the lifeline. <clears throat> you don't have to play it. Exactly the same as with Martin. You don't have to play it. We take the call. You'll have 30 seconds to tell him the question and the four possible answers. 
gives you the right answer. It's worth £125,000. So tell him what you're on. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Paul? Yeah? Hi, it's Chris Tarrant on ITV's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Good evening. Good evening. I've got Ian Horswell here. He's on £64,000 at the moment. Yep. <laughs> so very calm. He'll tell you the question he's stuck on, and there are four possible answers. One is the correct answer. If you give him that, it will be worth £125,000. The other three are wrong. When you hear Ian's voice, you'll only have 30 seconds to hopefully give him the right answer. Right. OK, Paul, Ian, your time starts now. Paul, Sarah Brown and Sky Masterson are leading characters in which musical? South Pacific, Guys and Dolls, Sunset Boulevard, or A Chorus Line? It's uh, Guys and Dolls. You sure, mate? I'm um, 900%. Can I kill you if you're wrong? Fatally. OK. Thanks, Paul. OK. Guys and Dolls, Chris. <laughs> What's he like, Paul, normally? Is he all right? Oh, Is he saying? Does he drink? Smashing guy. Does he? Yeah. So you're saying, on the strength of Paul's call, you're yep. saying he sounded very confident. Guys he said, dolls. guys and dolls. Yes. OK, that's your final answer. That's his final answer. Yep. You had £64,000. Yep. It's the right answer. You've got another... <laughs> This is an unbelievable night here. This is just an unbelievable night. It had never, ever happened anywhere in the world on any television show, anywhere. It happened about ten minutes ago. It's just happened again. At this moment, Ian Horswell can leave here with a cheque for <laughs> £125,000. That's the second time in one show tonight on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. <laughs> but we don't want to give you that. <laughs> I would love to give you... This is an extraordinary night. I would love to give you a cheque for £250,000. But, Ian, I've got to tell you the sums of this. If you go for it and get it right, you get a quarter of a million. If you do go for it and get it wrong, you still go home with £32,000, whatever happens, but you drop £93,000. We'll take a break. commercial breaks of Ian's life. Hello and welcome back to what is quite an extraordinary night here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the show that has made TV history tonight twice, including Ian Horswell's win. So far tonight we have given away a quarter of a million pounds. Now at this moment we can keep to that uh, statistic. Ian can take the £125,000 now and run, but he might as well look at the next question. Now Ian, there are no lifelines left. You can leave now with £125,000. If you do go for the question and get it wrong, you drop back to 32000 Whatever happens, you leave with 32000 But it would mean that at this moment you would drop £93,000 of the money you've got at this moment. <coughs> if you go for it and get it right, you double your money to one quarter of a million, and you would be two questions away from £1 million. That's the situation. Have a look at the question. Take as much time as you need. Here it comes. What was the name of the first American spaceship to orbit the Earth? Aurora 7. Liberty Bell 7. Friendship 7. Freedom 7. You've got £125,000. You can take it now. That chance. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not going to answer that question. I have not got 
the slightest clue. And you've got no lifelines? I know. No, I'll, I'll take that check, thanks, Chris. Um... Well, I have to say, it gives us huge pleasure. And this time you can keep it. Ian Horsfall goes away. Again, having shared TV history tonight with another £125,000. I can tell you the right answer actually, and I don't think anybody cares much, but the right answer actually would have been Friendship 7. He couldn't care less. He's leaving us with £125,000. Well done. Oh, no, no. What a night. Two contestants out of two have shattered television history. They have taken away a quarter of a million pounds tonight between them. But now let's spend some real money. Come on, it's Saturday night. The great brain robbery continues. 15 correct answers will smash and grab one million pounds. That is still here to be won. If you want to play for the sort of big, big, the sort of huge money we've given away tonight, or even more, because there is more, you know the number to call. 0891 444444. We still have nine contestants left here. Back again get on your keypads, fastest finger first, to find out who's next in the millionaire hot seat. Total concentration, please, audience. I know it's been an extraordinary night, but here comes the next question. Here it is. Starting with the youngest, put these four film directors in order of age. Quentin Tarantino, Alfred Hitchcock, Richard Attenborough, Steven Spielberg. Okay, all right, let's get the right order first, starting with the youngest in order of age. Tarantino was born in 1963. Spielberg was born in 1946. Attenborough was born back in 1923. And Alfred Hitchcock was born in 1899. Right, let's see who got that right, but most important tonight was some huge money around. Let's see who got it right in the fastest time. All these got it right, but who got it right fastest? They were all correct. Who was quickest? Gary Cunning! Yeah! Here we go again, Gary Cunning. He's from Glasgow. He's a sales manager for Soldering Products. With his winnings tonight, if he gets the big million, and it's still there, he'd like to buy, only just, he'd like to buy an executive box at Celtic Football Club and also take, yeah, and also take uh, helicopter flying lessons. Uh, with him tonight up there in the audience, he's much older, much more intelligent, he says, brother Dean. Uh, I have to say, Dean's up there in the audience looking thoroughly gobsmacked by everything that's happened tonight. Gary, million quid. It's, it has been an amazing night for you guys sitting there. Oh, yeah, superb. Superb. It has been superb. Mm. If you, um... If you won a million pounds, and the way things are going, you, you could. Um, would you carry on being a sales manager for soldering products? No. <laughs> I have to say, you're not a bad judge. Right, now listen, you know how it works. Let's do it all over again. Fifteen questions, one million pounds. We start again from scratch. Gary has got three new lifelines. He's got 50-50. He's got phone a friend. What a night it's been for phoning friends as well. And ask the audience what a night it's been for the audience. OK, are you ready for this, Gary? Let's yes. play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> Start all over again. A question coming up for £100. Here it comes. What colour was the Incredible Hulk when he was angry? Purple, green, black, orange. For 100 quid? Green. Green's the answer for £100 and his shirt used to burst. You're right. called uh, Dr. David Banner. Right, for 200 quid, have a look, Gary, here it comes for 200 pounds. Which country hosted the 1998 World Cup Finals? Scotland were there, briefly. USA, <laughs> Germany, Spain or France? France. France is the right answer, you've got 200 quid. And they were the winners. They beat Brazil 3 0 in the final. You got £200. Have a look for £300. You've got three lifelines left. Take your time. Nostradamus was famous for making what? Predictions, violins, jewellery, or sculptures? It's A predictions. Predictions are the right answer. You've got £300. <laughs> Have a look at this question for 500 quid. Here it comes. You've still got three lifelines. 
Oysters belong to which of these animal groups? Reptiles, mollusks, insects, or amphibians? For 500 quid. Play it's B. You said to me mollusks? Mollusks. It's good, it's the right answer. You've got 500 pounds. <laughs> Let's get you up to £1,000. If you get to the 1000 you get to keep it no matter what you leave here with what now seems like a very small amount of money, £1,000, but it's not. Here it comes. Who sang the theme song for the Bond film You Only Live Twice? Sheena Easton, Shirley Bassey, Lulu or Nancy Sinatra? It's D, Chris, Nancy Sinatra. Totally confident. Yeah, D. You got a thousand pounds. You got a thousand pounds and you got three lifelines. Whatever happens tonight, you go away with a minimum of one thousand pounds. You're ten questions away now, Gary, from one million quid. And we just might get there the way things have been going. Have a look at the next question for two thousand pounds. Here it comes. What is a dab? A bird? A star? A small boat? Or a fish? You've got a thousand pounds for two thousand pounds. What is a dab? I haven't got a clue. You've got three lifelines. I'll ask the audience. Okay. Audience has been very good tonight. Audience. This is the question. I want to get Gary up to £2,000. A, B, C or D. On your computers, please. All vote on your keypads now. Ooh. It's a big majority. 83% are saying it's a fish. It's your choice. It looks I'll good. go with that, D. OK, D. Uh, you're saying to me a fish. That's your answer. That's their answer. It's worth £2,000. Well done, audience. Thank you. You're okay, you've still got two lifelines. You've still got 50 50, you've still got phone a friend. You've got 2,000 pounds. Now, obviously, Gary, you can take 2,000 pounds now and go back to Glasgow if you want. But if you go for the next one and get it right, you get 4,000 pounds. You've got two lifelines. Have a look at the question for four grand. Which C has a name meaning middle of the earth? Caspian Sea, Mediterranean Sea, Baltic Sea, or Caribbean Sea? Four thousand pounds. You got two thousand. I'll play. It's B. Mediterranean Sea. You happy? Final answer. I'll go for it. It's good. You got four thousand pounds. Mediterranean, middle of the earth. Right, you've got 4,000 pounds, Gary. Let's get you up to 8,000 if we can. You've got 50 50, you've still got phone a friend. Have a look at this one. Obviously, you go away tonight with a minimum of 1,000 pounds, but have a look at this one. If you go for it and get it right, you double your money, you get 8,000 pounds. Here it comes. What colour is umber? Umber. Brown. Green. Blue. Orange. Colour is umber. For a friend. Okay. Who are we going to phone? Paul. Okay. When Paul comes on, I'll explain the situation. You tell him the question and the four possible answers. You'll only have 30 seconds at the time I start the clock, okay? Hello. Paul. Hello. Hi, it's Chris Tarrant on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire down in London. Hello, Chris. I've got Gary Cunning here. Yeah. At the moment, he's on £4,000. I want to try and get him up to £8,000. OK. Paul, Gary will come on and tell you the question and four possible answers. One is the correct answer, three are wrong. Right. When you hear Gary's voice, you'll only have 30 seconds for him to tell you the question and the answer before time runs out, OK? OK. OK, Gary, your time starts now. Hi, Paul. Hi, Gary. What colour is umber? Is it A, brown, B, green? C, blue, or D, orange? It's A, brown. It's brown. You're sure, yeah? I'm fairly sure. OK, thanks, Paul. OK. I'll play with that. 
OK, is he fairly sure? Fairly sure for £8,000? Fairly pounds? sure, I'll do it. OK, you're saying Amber is brown? Yep. OK, you had £4,000. You've now got £8,000. <laughs> Umber are um, natural brown earth colours. You've got £8,000. Now, obviously, you go for it and your money drops back. You drop £7,000. You go back to the £1,000 you guaranteed. The next question, though, is worth £16,000, but you've only got one lifeline. You've only got 50-50 left. Have a look at it for £16,000. What is a stickleback? Is it a bird? Is it a fish? Is it a reptile? Or is it an insect? You got 50 50 if you need it. I'm sure it's a bird, but. You got 50 50 if you want it. You got 8,000 pounds. Gary, you can take 8,000 pounds now. I'll go 50 50, Chris. OK. Computer, take away two wrong answers for us, please. Leave us the correct answer and one remaining wrong answer. I'm going to go for it. Take 8,000 if you want. Take 8,000 pounds now if you want. No, I'll play. I'm going to guess. If you get it wrong, you drop seven grand. You go back to 1,000. I'll say D. Is that your final answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. All right, I'll go B. I'll go B. B. Final answer, B. You're living very dangerously, Gary Cunning. It's the right answer. You've got six. Oh, it's one of those, you either know it or you don't. It, it seems very easy, but they're all only easy if you know the answer. If you don't, they're impossible. He's got £16,000 at this moment. Now, Gary, you can take £16,000 and go. It's a lot of money. Have a look at the next question. If you go for it, it's worth £32,000. If you go for it and get it right, whatever happens here tonight, you leave with a minimum of £32,000. If you get it wrong, you drop £15,000. All right, Gary, take yeah. your time, have a look at this question. Tell okay. me if you want to play it. What was Casanova's occupation in his final years? A spy, a librarian, a violinist, or a soldier? Casanova, in his final years. Show me the money, Chris. I'll leave it at that. You sure? Yeah. You have no lifeline yet. I can tell you, you actually the right answer. The right answer in his final years, Casanova, was in fact a librarian. <laughs> Give him a big hand, Gary's done the right thing. He goes away with £16,000. <laughs> Incredible night tonight. Time is up right at the end of the one hour show tonight. Incredible evening. Earlier on tonight, Martin Skillings was the first person ever in TV quiz show history to win an unbelievable amount of £125,000. This place went absolutely berserk. If that wasn't enough, Ian Horswell from Dorset then came on and did exactly the same thing about 15 minutes later. He also walked away with £125,000. Gary Canning has just taken away £16,000. Let's see who's joining us tomorrow night. Mary Noel, Ken Finney, Lisa Gosch, Karen Ozdemir, Tristan Burt, Cliff Kirby Tibbetts, Keith Roberts, Nick Bailey, John Davidson, and Nathan Bartle. They're coming tomorrow. If you'd like to enter, a summary of the rules is on page 375 of Teletext on ITV and a full center on the ITV website. Or you can send a self addressed envelope to Millionaire Rules, PM Box 7444, London WC2E 90A. But if you want to win, you've got to ring, and there is still time this series. 0891 444444. That's what they all did tonight. And between them, three contestants walked away with an unbelievable total of two. £266,000. 
We'll do it all over again tomorrow night. We'll see you at 8 o'clock on ITV. Good night.